Hello, everyone. For I, the Lord, do not change. Malachi 3, 6. The God of our Lord said that. Don't be deceived, my dear brethren. Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down. From the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows, or in whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. James 1, 16 to 17. This is referring to the God of our Lord. In him there's no variation or shifting shadow. So, you think you're a bit too clever to be tricked by the devil. Are you too clever for him? We all know how local street illusionists fool people routinely. And we don't know how they do their tricks, how they do their illusions. And we're easily tricked. How much more than the master illusionist, Satan? If you think you're a little too clever to be tricked by the devil, you might want to think about that a little bit more. We've all heard of people who have led double lives, posing as one identity one moment, but another identity the next. And there are many people who try to live some kind of double life. Some live triple lives, some more. They pose as one, then pose as another, assuming one imposter identity and then another. They have alter egos, alias identities, shape-shifting who they are from one identity to another to suit whatever occasion serves them and their evil motives. I think we all know what kind of evil is behind such behavior. None of us ever suppose that people who do such things are people of the truth, since there's no honest reason to do such things. Yet this is the God of Trinity world, a God whose identity is constantly changing and mutating to suit whatever occasion, a being of alter egos, shape-shifting from one identity to the next. One minute, their God is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, but the next minute, he is not. And he, rather, is a three-person being, a different alias, a different identity. And the next minute, he again changes and is not the God and Father of Jesus, and he is not a three-person being, but a nameless third person. And again, the next moment he shapeshifts into another alter ego, and he is not the God and Father of Jesus, and he is not a three-person being, and he is not that nameless third person either, but he is in fact someone else, namely Jesus. And indeed, many people don't realize it, but there are even occasions when he mutates to become a fifth identity, which his servants call the one being, which is possessed by the three, or, or the four, which at one moment they will insist is not a who, but a what. And yet, the next minute, 
he magically becomes a who and not a what, a fifth identity. This is his most remarkable shape-shifting mutation, which is designed expressly to deceive you. And it is this fifth Yahweh, which they claim is how their God is one. But this fifth Yahweh, this fifth identity, is a fifth God, in addition to their God's other four aliases. And men everywhere gullibly fall for this illusion. If you take the time to sort it all out, you will clearly see that they actually have five gods, not one. After all, when you say one is not the other, you are thereby defining them as different gods. And they use the fifth god to say the other four are this one. This god's identity is constantly changing. And it's always a guessing game, just who he might be in any given situation. He disguises himself as one, and then as another, masquerading as one, and then as another. You never know what the illusion might be. And of course, his servants who are of the same ilk always ready themselves to inform you which alter ego he might be posing as in every any given circumstance. God is light and there is no darkness in him. But the deceived servants of this shadowy Gnostic God hiding his identities in the darkness, these gullible worshippers of this idol do not even know how their own Word magic sleight of hand even works. Although it really doesn't work, they just believe it does. They're duped into thinking it does. They have only deceived themselves into supposing their abracadabra magic arts do work. In short, they themselves are in darkness and they do not know what they do. The beloved apostle, our brother Peter, warned us about false prophets, false teachers, exploiting you with word manipulation and making merchandise out of you. Don't be foolish, but beware. Be wary. Be alert. I don't think I need to say much more. You really should not need to give this all much thought, friend, to know what kind of character this trickster God is and who he is fashioned after. There is one who masquerades as light, an imposter in whom his servants delight. The true God is righteous and true. He is light and there is no darkness in him at all. There is no variation and shifting shadows in him. His identity does not shapeshift and mutate to mock you in your confusion. Our God is love and he is truth. And he is the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no God but his God. Is there any God besides me, or is there any other rock? I know of none. God knows of none. This is the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is there any God but his God? The God of Jesus knows of none. None. Jesus Christ God knows of none. His God knows 
No other. How about you? His God does not know, but what about you? Do you know of another God besides the God of Jesus? His God knows of none. What about you? And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know the true one, and we are in the true one, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Our Lord Jesus came so that we might know. So that we might know the only true God. This is vitally important for us to know the only true God. Because knowing him is eternal life. Father, this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Eternal life is knowing the only true God and Father of Jesus. The Father who abides in Jesus and Jesus in him, the Father who also abides in all his children, and they in him. Jesus Christ, whom you have sent, he is the way to the Father. Jesus came so that we might know the only true God, the true one, so that we might have eternal life, which the Father has given to be in his Son. The true God is the God whom Jesus made known to us, his God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only true God. Any other God but the God and Father of Jesus is an idol and amounts to idolatry. Little children, guard yourselves from idols. There's a reason John says that here. Guard yourselves from idols. Our God is the only true God and he is not a shapeshifter, and he does not have alter egos, which keep you guessing who he is or might be, nor is he a murky, mysterious figure lurking in shifting shadows. He is light, and his begotten children know him personally as their Abba Father, and his spirit testifies to their spirit that they are indeed his children the children of the only true God. Our beloved Jesus came so that we might know the true one, the true God, the only true God, his God, and Father, in whom there is no changing variations or shifting shadows. Be aware, be alert, and watchful, for the devil prowls around like a lion seeking whom he may devour. Don't be prideful, but humble yourselves before the Lord. Many are on the broad road to destruction with all its deceptions and lies, but few are on the narrow way which leads to life. Few. Many are deceived. Few will be saved. Be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. There is only one God, the God and Father of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And there is no God but our Lord's God. 